So this is going to be a short one today, but I just wanted to get a little discussion going on as to what happened to the Ben we saw in Time Heals. In the Season 3 Alien Force episode, Time Heals, Gwen decides to prevent Ben and Kevin from hacking the Omnitrix, which resulted in Kevin becoming amalgamated. In this new timeline, because the Omnitrix hadn't been broken, this caused a much more dangerous outcome than the original. After doing extensive research to fix Kevin's condition, Gwen with the warning from Professor Paradox travels back in time and prevents Ben and Kevin from hacking the Omnitrix. The timeline stays intact for the most part. The events of Season 1 and 2 of Alien Force stay the same, except when Hex and Charmcaster suddenly attack, Gwen is killed by Charmcaster and Hex takes over the world. It's said by Paradox that Ben fought valiantly, but eventually, Hex and Charmcaster capture him as well as Kevin. But Ben being in possession of the Omnitrix, how exactly would he get captured and what could have happened to him afterwards? We first meet this Ben within a dungeon chained to a wall in his spider monkey form. I always wondered why he was in this form. One suggestion I had is that when we met him, we're seeing him in the events after an attempted escape and the Omnitrix just hadn't timed out yet. And another reason could be that maybe Hex or Charmcaster put a spell on the chains and once they were placed on his wrist they prevented the Omnitrix from working. Ben is a character who is known to never give up and we've seen in Secret of the Omnitrix although Gwen survived the Florana attack if he believes someone he loves has died because of him, he's willing to go all out and not let anything stop him. In the episode, we're shown that Gwen's death put Ben in a state of depression, and I think being the hero he was, he fought his hardest against Hex, but when Kevin was caught under Charmcaster's influence, he started to struggle even more. There's no doubt in my mind that the Omnitrix would eventually time out, which led to his capture. It's also known that due to the events, Ben had not only been acting like his prime self, but was also very weak due to the amount of torture Hex put him through, resulting in chronic pain. When Arguin arrives in his timeline and helps this Ben escape, he's immediately devoted to protecting her. It's very left open as to what exactly happened to this version of him, since the last moments we have of him, we see him transform with the intent of holding Hex off, giving Gwen the time to cast her spell. We don't see the fight at all, but because we see Hex going after Gwen, we know Ben at the very least lost the battle. Every time I watch this episode, I always believe that he died, but it's also possible he survived considering we see Ben Prime be in worse situations. I actually like that they left it open to the imagination. Like, I mean, if they didn't, I wouldn't have been able to make this video. But, what do you think happened to Ben at the end of Time Heals? Uh, do you think this timeline even matters anymore? Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.